The Tu-214 is a medium-range passenger aircraft that is manufactured by the Kazan Aircraft Production Association, KAZE, which is named after S.P. Gorbunov. It provides seating for up to 210 passengers. It is presently a critical project in Russia's program for aviation import substitution. Nevertheless, the government's initiative to increase production is encountering significant obstacles and skepticism from industry professionals. According to aviation expert Alexei Zakharov, who spoke to the publication 116, the cost of each aircraft is approximately 5.6 billion rubles, which is approximately 71.7 million US dollars, as Cade is presently only capable of producing one or two aircraft annually. This limited capacity is the result of extremely high fixed costs and low production volumes, such as the necessity of sustaining an 8,000-person workforce while producing only two aircraft annually. This, according to Zakharov, renders each aircraft nearly as costly as if it were wholly made of gold. This statement is not hyperbole. In fact, gold is currently trading at approximately $72,000 per kilogram. Therefore, an aircraft that costs approximately $71.7 million USD is roughly equivalent to 1,000 kilograms of gold. This calculation serves as a striking illustration of the inefficiency. The expert might, however, be alluding to the PJSC Tatneft suing Tupolev for 5.6 billion rubles. Tatneft demand consists of 5.6 billion rubles in debt, 1.9 billion in interest, and 1.2 billion in penalties. Deputy Prime Minister Denis Manturov has publicly pledged that KAZ will build a minimum of 22 Tu-14 aircraft annually by 2027-2028. Additionally, plans are in place to manufacture a cargo version of the aircraft and gradually transition to components sourced entirely domestically. However, many aviation professionals remain skeptical about these claims. Viktor Gorbachev, the director of the Airport Association of Civil Aviation, underscores that the obstacle is not limited to the assembly of the aircraft frame, but also to the production of thousands of critical components, including avionics and engines. The frequent production of these components at various facilities across the nation poses a significant coordination issue. Mantarov himself recognizes the significance of converting the Tu-214 to a two-person cockpit, which would enhance its efficacy. However, this transition is still in the distant future. A shortage of qualified engineers and technicians is one of the main worries. The enterprise is unable to scale up production due to a paucity of qualified personnel to support the complex and labor-intensive process. An additional issue is production facilities that are either antiquated or underperforming. Despite the government's investment of over 90 billion rubles in the modernization of the plant, the financing has not yet resulted in significant production improvements. The ongoing reliance on foreign-made components is also a concern, despite the efforts to replace imports. The country's production chain for aircraft parts remains in a fragile state, and even domestic suppliers are experiencing delays. The initial intention was to complete four planes in 2025. However, only one aircraft had reached final assembly by mid-year, a project that had commenced in 2024. At present, the two-aircraft objective for 2025 appears to be overly ambitious. A couple of days back, an unidentified Tupolev executive said that the company is in the process of finalizing delivery contracts with the private sector. However, he said that the deliveries would start only after 2027 due to the workload of the state orders. The Federal Aviation Development Program anticipates the production of 115 to 120 new 2214 aircraft by 2030 in the long term. Russia did not complete the first domestic 2214 until the end of 2024. Even in 2025, domestic alternatives have yet to fully replace numerous components. Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin has instructed the aviation industry to name the exact dates for the launch of import substituting 2214 and ANSAT helicopters produced at Kazan.
The current situation is being compared to the Soviet era by experts who emphasize the impossibility of transitioning from handcrafted models to mass production in a single year. Even with established infrastructure and experience, historically, the process of increasing production from a few aircraft to dozens has required several years. The primary impediment is not the airframe itself, but rather the production ecosystem that surrounds it, particularly the availability of qualified personnel and the supply of parts. It is uncertain whether the government will be able to meet its production objectives by 2027, despite the substantial state investment and political resolve. In conclusion, the TU-214 production program at the Kazan Aircraft Plant is encountering well-known challenges that are characteristic of the Russian industry, including the inertia of establishing full-scale manufacturing, human resource shortages, and supply chain dependencies. If current trends continue, it seems unlikely that the objective of producing 20 aircraft per year by the end of the decade will be achieved. Achieving such an outcome will require the resolution of critical bottlenecks in personnel, equipment, and component supply. If you enjoy the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Additionally, please consider purchasing memberships to support us.